Hello everyone and welcome to Prophecy Files Briefing. I'm glad that you've joined me today. I've got some important information for you, not only for just you, but I need you to share this out because this information is pointing us toward the one world government under the Antichrist with lightning speed. And here's the article and you can follow along. The article reads, Why do we need elections? The World Economic Forum Chairman Schwab declares voting will not be necessary because AI will predict the results. Listen to the portions of this article, and you can read it for yourself. It's online available. This is as of just a few days ago. The World Economic Forum Chairman Klaus Schwab envisioned a future without elections, predicting that voting will no longer be needed as artificial intelligence will be able to predict whose voters uh, who voters would want in power. The article goes on to say, in an interview with the co-founder of Google, on the stage, this uh, statement is made, quote, digital technologies, and this is by Klaus Schwab, digital technologies mainly have analytical power. Now we go into predictive power. And we have seen in the first examples, and your company very much involved in it, he told the Google founder, the next step could be to go into a prescriptive mode, which means you do not even have to have elections anymore because you can already predict. He goes on after an eerie silence, the article reads. He, he then asked uh, if elections would even be necessary given that the outcomes would already be predicted. He goes on in this article to say, Afterward, you can say, why do we need elections? Because we know what the results will be. The co-founder, Bryn of Google, goes on to pontificate, the article says, about eliminating world leaders, replacing them by AI decision-making apparatus, and praises Schwab for his profound thoughts. He goes on to say that Schwab later uh, explained that a critical issue that needs to be tackled would be how humanity is viewed. He says we need new concepts to define what humanity is and what's, what's the purpose of our lives. This is coming from the article that is sobering and it is uh, certainly on many scales frightening and could be to many people. But let me tell you, God has not been caught off guard by this one world or new world order, as you would hear it described, mentality because there is coming a new world order under the Antichrist. And under the spirit of Antichrist that is right now in process and in progress, uh, the World Economic Forum and others that are contributing to the rise of not only the spirit of Antichrist, but the person of Antichrist. And in doing so uh, is the diminishing of humanity, the rising up of man's knowledge and human ability through AI, artificial intelligence, and to be able to do what the Bible says in Romans chapter 1, to worship the creation more than the Creator who is blessed forever. It is important for us to understand, and I do not have time to go through all of the scriptures here today, but you can find it very clearly as to the characteristics and what will uh, inv be involved in an antichrist government, one world government, one world economy, one world religion. In that system that is now being put into place at rapid speed, and this particular article is very clear about it, that the Antichrist mentality of a one world government under his control and power will come together with lightning speed, forming a ten nation kingdom as described in the book of Daniel from the statue of Daniel that he uh, saw in a vision with the head being Nebuchadnezzar, all the way to what is described as the ten toes mixed with iron and clay. That is humanity mixed with the old Roman Empire that will rise in the last days, according to the book of Daniel and the book of Revelation. In that system that you're seeing, it is the elevation of man's intelligence over God, the elimination of God, pushing God completely out of society, and he's questioning here now what is then uh, humanity's position in all of this. What is the purpose of a human? Now you need to get that because this is as old as the Garden of Eden. But Romans chapter 1 lets us know very clearly that this would be the mentality of people and the disregard of the Creator and the elevation of the creation and actual worship of the creation in the last days. Not only that, 
But according to the book of Revelation 13, they would rise in power along beside the Antichrist, the false prophet, who would act somewhat uh, in the office of what we know to be the triunity of the Holy Spirit in elevating the Antichrist and the worship and pointing everyone toward the Antichrist to worship the Antichrist and his system. And in doing so, the false prophet would elevate and would actually do false signs, miracles, and wonders as, at man's uh, devices and knowledge. Is that going to be involved in what's happening right here with AI, artificial intelligence, and all the other apparatus that's coming together to push humanity completely out, to push God out, and to elevate man as God? My friends, we're living on the edge of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no doubt about it. And this one particular article right here from the elite mentality of the World Economic Forum and others that are coming together to try to form a government, a world system, a new world order, as was coined by uh, George H.W. Bush many years ago, a new world order. It's coming into being. What is that new world order? It will come under the Antichrist. But let me tell you about another one. The new world order under the Lord Jesus Christ will be the recreation of all things, and the book of Revelation gives great detail about it, along with the book of Daniel. I would encourage you to be about the Lord's business in reaching the lost as quickly as you can, for we are living on the edge of the coming of Jesus Christ. Till the next time we get together, remember Jesus Christ is coming soon. Thank you.